20 is plenty. That is the name and the idea behind a program the city is rolling out to reduce the speed limit on some streets to 20 miles per hour. It's part of the mayor's Vision Zero initiative to reduce the number of people killed on Madison streets. Jamie Perez explains how this could impact your commute. Last year we had 15 traffic fatalities and it's one of the highest that we've had um, in many years. Madison leaders have a goal of bringing that number down to zero. One idea to help. The program is going to reduce the speed limit of our residential streets from 25 miles per hour to 20 miles per hour. Lowering speed limits citywide by 2022. According to a study by the AAA Foundation for Traffic Safety, if a car traveling at 20 miles an hour hits a pedestrian, there's a 13% likelihood of severe injury or fatality. Now compare that to 40% going at 30 miles an hour or 73% at 40 miles an hour. It's a father or a mother and a family that's permanently changed. Tom Lynch, the city's director of transportation, wants to invest in people rather than infrastructure. Next week, they'll pick two neighborhoods to test the 20 mile per hour pilot program on. Make sure that the treatment is uh, distributed to uh, you know, communities of color and the like. And we also would like uh, the neighborhood to be supportive of it. We don't want to impose a pilot on a neighborhood that just doesn't want it. So clearly, slower speeds and lowering the speed limit can save lives. The plan also includes making changes to crosswalk markings in high injury areas and adjusting the streets engineering, all in hopes of seeing measurable difference going forward. We can decide to follow the speed limit and we can set an example for others around us. We can reset what the normal traffic speed is on our streets. For News 3 Now. I'm Jamie Perez. And the Transportation Committee will pick those two neighborhoods at its meeting next Wednesday.